Hello, this is Christy. Welcome to another tutorial for Camtasia. We are looking at a facility today to create multiple highlights for a video clip in Camtasia. I know this may sound like it should be easy, but it doesn't work by default using the default annotation for highlighting in Camtasia. Let me illustrate. I have this video clip here that is of uh, some football players and I would like to highlight one of the players and also another player. So at the same time, I would like to have two highlights on the same clip. So watch what happens. If you go to annotations and switch to the blur and highlight tab, you have the annotation spotlight here. That's what it's called, it's spotlight. So I'm gonna move the cursor somewhere here and drag this annotation on top. And of course, when my playhead enters the space of the spotlight, the area that I defined is highlighted. I can move this around and maybe I wanna highlight this player right there. Okay, and now I may want to highlight maybe the goalkeeper or someone else. So if I drag another spotlight in the same place, okay, now watch, you see what happens. The highlight indeed can be moved independently, but the previous highlight is now faded a little bit. I can still see it there, but it doesn't look like it should be. It's not bright enough. So if I hide this new track, you can see that everything is now brighter. So the more spotlights you add on top of your video clip, it will, it will affect the stuff below it and it will make everything darker. So that's not practical if you want to highlight several regions in your video. Maybe you wanna try and show two of the players kind of moving around. So how can you achieve this? Well, it's actually quite simple, although it is a more involved process, it requires more operations, but in the end, it still does the same thing and does it properly. So let's see how we can do it. We will leave this group here and I'm gonna move forward and put the same clip on my timeline again here. So this is my clip now and I want to highlight two players again. But this time I'm not going to use the spotlight effect or annotation. What I'm going to use is the new track mat thing that was added in Camtasia 2020. The track mat allows you to do some effects with the track, make it, you know, alpha or, or inverted alpha luminosity and all that stuff that will affect what's below it. So to achieve this effect with multiple highlights, I'm going to actually go to the annotations and go to the shapes annotation and just use two, maybe two circles. Let's try all here and I'm going to use two circles. Okay, so I have this circle here. I'm going to put this on top of one of the players I want to highlight and another circle on top of the goalkeeper, perhaps. Okay, so these are going to be my highlighted areas. Okay, so watch what happens now. I'm going to move these just like this so they match with the uh, bottom of this, the, the end of the clip, like so. So how do I highlight the areas like so? Well, we will be using the track mat. So as I said, we need to make these two regions show through the clip much brighter and the rest of the clip will have to be faded out, just like with the spotlight function. For this reason, let me just pull this up to make a little more room here. For this reason, we will actually need to use a, another track to put a duplicate of the clip. What I mean by this is, look, I'm gonna move the two shapes above one track. So now my clip is here. My shapes with the highlights are down here. And I'm going to have to turn these two tracks into, these two highlights into a group. So let me show you what I do. Select both of them, right click and group or control G. So now they are in a group. I can still not see the stuff through them yet. So what I need to do is I need to turn the track mat on this track where my group is to right click on this icon and select alpha. If you don't see it on the screen, let me pull the window in a bit. So what I'm doing is on this track with my group, now the highlighted regions are grouped, right click on this I and select alpha. 
you can't see anything now because there's nothing below it. So I'm going to move my clip one track higher. As now you can see this track with the alpha effect applied to it only shows through the stuff where I have my content, which is in this case, the two regions with my um, two shapes that I've done. If I uh, try and maybe go back a bit, I can see that player in there. Okay. So now I see the, the two regions I've highlighted with my shapes, they are visible. I can't see, what I can see is the rest of the clip and I do still want to see that. So what I need to do is just copy this, click on this clip, copy it, and then go to the beginning and paste, control V. What this does is it pastes that clip on the next available lower lowest track available with enough space to fit that clip. So now my highlight is supposedly gone. Well, it's not because the effect still works on this top one, but on the bottom one, it doesn't. So remember our spotlight was actually making the rest of the video dark and keeping the highlighted region bright at 100%. So to show that I need to go to the bottom track and just turn the opacity down here, like so. So now my opacity is down and I, I still cannot see my highlighted because I'm not in the place where the group is. So if I move my playhead now in the region with the highlights, you can see the two highlighted regions now show bright with both shapes showing here at the same time. And my clip is playing fine. So as you can see, the highlight is working fine. None of the shapes impacts the other one. It doesn't make it darker. So they both look the same. Of course, that still allows me to animate them. So if you are trying to animate your highlights, then you can either do it before you turn on the alpha or after by zooming in. Let me just zoom in here a bit. And you can open this group with the uh, shapes. Both shapes are here, right? So if I want this shape to follow this goalkeeper, all I have to do is just go to the animations and maybe use a custom animation, drag it on top of this and move it to follow the goalkeeper. So now my highlight, look at this, it's following the goalkeeper. The same thing can happen on the other one. If I wanted to go and follow the, the player, I don't know where the player is gone though, on this one. Yeah, he's gone there. So on this point here, I can also drag another animation on the second shape and move it to where the player went. So like this, it's probably too late. It's probably a bit late. Um, so yeah, you, you get it. They, they move, they don't move in a straight line. So you'll probably have to tweak that yourself. But anyway, this illustrates you can actually make the two shapes play. Now, if you notice the one on the top gets cut off here. Camtasia creates a whole new scene inside of the group. So that's why I think it's better if you animate your shapes to follow your subject, if you need to animate them, animate them to follow your subject before you group them. So you would actually ungroup these like so. The uh, Turn off the alpha from here. Uh, let me just scale this back out. Okay, and now you can clearly see your animation, you can see where your shapes are, and I think it's better if you animate everything before you group it. So then when you're done animating stuff, then you group it again and apply the alpha effect to them. So this way they should not cut off anymore. You see, they don't cut off anymore because they are no longer getting out of the group. So here you have it. This is how you can create multiple highlights on the same clip. You do need a duplicate of the clip, but after that, anything you put on top of it and you apply this group with the alpha will show the highlight correctly. Don't forget to reduce the opacity on the track below. And uh, there you have it. I hope this was useful. And if you enjoy my tutorials, feel free to subscribe to my channel and see you next time.